Yes, I answer. I mean, can you basically meet us in an audio as I catch him? Ordinarily, you will see an abrantipa in an African print, short sleeve, round neck. But today, I share Ghana Web Excellence Awards, and that's because we've launched a People's Choice Award scheme that seeks to award personalities and organisations that have contributed immensely to the development of Ghana. We'll tell you more about that. But Castro has been declared dead seven years after disappearing. Also, your talk is trending on Twitter because of a comment that he made that he's made Stormzy more popular in Ghana. It's Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. I am Benefo Boabin Abrantipa. Thanks for joining us on Bloggers Forum. And on Bloggers Forum, we table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion. The show is sponsored by Cheesy Pizza. Joining me for the discussion today is Nene B. He's an author, a columnist, lawyer in the making. Nene, Akwaba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. On what? On your award lunch. Oh, thank and, you. And you didn't invite me. I don't have what they do for day. I mean, have you done something? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't invite me for your life, so. Uh, okay, we, we, we definitely should be inviting you for the main event. I actually thought you had traveled, though. You told me you were going, you were going to. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Let's talk about so that. So, me, I thought yeah. you had gone. <laughs> yeah, I know Nanaya will ask me, but me, I didn't tell you that I was going to travel, but you did not <laughs> yes, invite I, me. I, you see, I just don't was, know. Just tell someone something. No, no, I wasn't oh. using as an excuse. No, but I, I wasn't even come to say that, though. You see. <laughs> I don't even know why I said what I said. Mm, yeah, yeah. Nana do is with OnePlayAfrica.com. Nana, Akwaba. <laughs> I don't know how to pass it. I mean, I, 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 I think, say, um, in, in, the, in life, mm -hmm. you, have to, you have to accept where you are mm. so that you can be able to move on or move forward. Okay. So I'm not the type that if I don't get invitations from... Um, events, organizers, or promoters, I get angry. Mm. I, I, I get excited when, I, when I'm not invited. You can ask all the promoters in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Because you are telling me to work harder. You, you, wow. Because you are telling me that... <laughs> oh, cool, guys. Wow. Oh, listen. Mm. Because you are, telling me to, you are telling me that you will pay me tomorrow. Mm. That today I shouldn't come for free. That's what you are telling me. Because if I build my platform and you come to me, I will charge you. You get me? So I, I really respect people who don't invite me to come for programs. Mm -hmm. But then again, no, I, I think that last week I did um, a, a show on One Play Africa YouTube channel. You guys should go and watch it. Um, I, have, I have a podcast that, that's on all the platforms. These are Amazon, everywhere you, you can listen to it. Mm -hmm. It's called the Music Convo Podcast. And then I discuss what does Ghana music need, systems or money. Um, so you guys should check it out. It's a, it's a very insightful conversation. Um, one Play Africa, we've launched a new show on Twitter. It's called One Play Space. Mm -hmm. uh, the first edition was with Sack Nati. The second edition was with Reggie, Reggie Zippy of Reggie and Body Fame. And I think I saw that one. Yeah. And it was beautiful on Wednesday. Um, so every Wednesday, 8 p.m. on Twitter, you can join us. We, 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 we hang out with the most, some important voices in our music and entertainment industry that you will love. So yeah, guys, check it out. But also, Ghana Web. I'm going to invite you in because you're in Druva. And you see your pay. You're in Druva. We're very charging. Yeah, we don't have cash. It is what it is. I'm going now, dear boy. Hey, bro. I'm going to put that. 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 I'm going to Ah, and yes, who needs to go say a killer will be Emma Jones? Only I'm phone here and can't send me a woman here. Who need fifteen thousand? I need to come to the concert with Chroma. No, I pay baby now. What's now my I am a brony now. What you must answer about in some of course entertainment industry and I'm a born woman. Rabbit soon may try on a young comrades and I'm come over and cut back. I'm not just an ascending and show one way a ding. Chrome had it must have scared me one and you may a ding. When I question. Oh, you could now saw your concert be a fifteen thousand year day for a year table. Kakra, ye ye to kwako tiye mbwa kano kose eh kidi. Sanka wunya ye ye artist of the year ni gani kako manka yon to means na. I will be sasi unkomo net to say then kidi no saw your concert be any live with kidi na ye kwako se use ne. They say they won't say ni me mu ye din sanka. Ebi anka free and I say be a unse mkoso kidi so chima. 
Least obeje, mo amo be basa e ye life with kidding. Least obeje kwa e ye three thousand Ghana cedis. Obi uka se kan kan thirty million. Ah, e ni na ye beje for. E ya ye ba be ba. Di na kofi se ah kidding. Asem be na wuki. E ye Drake kwa Drake e international artist. Onu kwa o ye show. Onje sa over e ye two thousand dollars. Asem na me ne wuki yo. E ye fifteen thousand. Mama fuche ma u niska u hiye guaro wa na oke kasi u ni me ma ye di fifteen thousand. Waka wo se ka fifteen thousand anke. E ye to se denga. U ye fifteen thousand na kuti. Say, <laughs> Sister Na test ni results ni ba ina mama muni mnyanya na mabetere. Sister itua she's traumatized. Aye, just say nyama hau na kasa. Ena oti nuhu nsemse. Oti na wose wa yese. Inse se di ena oti nyanya ni so owu mbefano. Na oti nyanya semu na mungu kufuzo dijo yenyi mse ubia kuhau mo. Ba uwe di e anka yenfano tunje. Inse kufu kasi. It's about time a mama nimbo. Adi biya sister ika so be kum nuhu. Ena oti ba wose se. Inse wose mumbo mo di ana mumbo ni mnyanya nimbo. Anse na yata ti bad news bi e fi yeye dijo kampu. Ah, my phone is kicking for soon. I hear you soon. I need a bit of your love. Ay, 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 ay. Be the best. Wow, we need to learn more about you. We need to learn more about your voice. Kicking didn't seem to be a touch. Oh, Chema. Send me a wab on the bra. Wab save. Wab on your. Wab on your. I quite quite yes. It's a sad day. Obe ra e ye nyami sem ni mwa. Nya nche biya ase ne kwe do o jit sumi se yanko po mbe frenu. Na ase mi ba nyanko fusu uwe de yon ati bida. Se wa wa kufe mana u se u. Se ni ye kwe di e. Ye be he espe di se oba ye pasa. Ende yonche da nye mwa wasa. A ena keke che mwuse se de ene nye mwa kwe di e. E nye nuhu wasa wade ne kwa be me nyame na fede wabe sum nyame na mwuse ase preach in kakwari koso. Na kwa mwade oni mwuse sakra be bra koso. Na big one nyanko fu diskas ya wose wan shada nye tim mwko mwana se. E ye Moisha di en. E ye actress Moisha Budong. Ona se se dio se wa saranda wa ko ni social media page a video bi ana kan uno sister wa she bikini kakra no free go so hips ni nyina wa delete ai se se de moisha e de ne ho amanya me na se mi ba na kofo de yeso na obi se wa nya nkwaja na aya ni me gwa e mama ye fe ndi egure ndi mama ye fa ntunche obi bie na no so de ne ho amanya me mu nja e sa asem ne ka e yi na ya ko bot e ko kan se bi na se yo aso o de yeso kakra na kewa kewa se de bi I said, me bear ye, you know, yeah, cause your sister, yeah, you saw the no man, yeah, me. Now then I call better than you, be I want to say, be I would do good. Care what I ban, no, I call them, yeah, you know. A man who says, what do you need to them? What you say, be a woman, two, three months, be one year, be some wish, but I'm so bad, no, I can't, so no, I'm not a cry of boy, dear. But it's a wish. Yanka, yanka, now why yanka, I will say, no, I'm so bad. We're far from yam, me, I'm far from yam, me. Boy, it's yanka, what person? Who are you and she be? Ah, I said, me, yanka, yam, me, yanka, make out, but me, yanka. Why is a semen soon crabby, ma'am? What's a more a year, Trinity Jonas? Well, I'm Trinity Jonas. Now, no, yeah, we won't say I can't campaign for us. And what's the system is not working? What's a more moody nature? Now, move for loan, no, no, you can't move in a yard. You know, my dream will enter down. Why is a neck and yemen amica? In the more moca so, Trinity Jonas, yeah, boa basso, ya wong, did you want them? What's the ocean, ma'am? I said, I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm 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 going to Aye, John the Baptist Bible mu. We numu na aye football fi bai. Ah, we bisa say e no swear to them. Oche ma aye John the Baptist. Bra wo try ni tin wo. E neja. What was what they what they made? The year was then or no so towing. Now you or towing and you be born say no be so mu say eh ho. E na football certificate. Munde 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 share video na munde munde enter the movie. Aye, blood nation president. The Baptist Jimmy or aye aye koko in the era that some aye day. Some a bene. Era that say small game be carry it eighteen years ago. If you play beef foot, I want a football free buyer. Huh? You need to be a job. Don't the Baptist, you know. 
And now I buy any command, ma'am. And I'm not a petrol, you should not be part of the petrol, you should be that boy, and I'm a form of football. Hey! The baby breeding. Football, I'm a boy, you should be a boy, I don't about this year. Hey, same cause you are her. Why do we name where any house of Ajaga Ah, and I'm my own trust. I have a problem with the same year to Jack. Oh, Chema, media, and I am Mumbo Madiana Munchimu, and see a one personal life in them. I move the brain, I must say, a popular people, I will come as it. Also, the wise I am fat on Raquel. Bibi, see, not for the movie, you are Mambo and Mamma Nipani Karibu. Also, no, or no, no, Kabna Kabnaka, when Jan and answer, and Kamudi be dean. I am now Mokan Hussam, so why is it? Why is it? Kaka can't come, Kaka, more now affect Tony Pan. I fed your bomb, you cry, baby. Was away. Now, one thing, it was a media. I am one trim who empty on my personal life, Mukakra. Now, why you be a child? A man for just like I send him podium who's an amicanifer. I will be Cassa, I am one tea, moon, some man, 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 some well, when him say remix, you know me. Original one only as a cowboy see ye. And a remix on the storms and the crazy asa and the yes I know me. Now, okay interview be. I was TV three. I no mu bisa ni so. I am go for kaka so. I no so bo no mu modi ane ye storms. I no so man ye popular. I say na storms is so bo modi ano. I man ni ko international. I no so so. I no dey am pa storms ya bo ano. Now so ye pa chrome hase Ghana hase ya. I yo I no ya talk. I no no man I ye storms. I ye more popular. I say me you can no go kind. I'm not say hey. Yeah, talk that bad. I will buy us. I'm from Masuka Kra. I say from Masuka Kribi. I'm not going to say. I say me dey walk. I'm not going to say I'm going to go kind. Eh, na ya stormzi. Me dey walk. I say I'm not going say. What's your opinion? Confidence. No, I can't say. I'm not going to say. Oh, my God. I say me dey walk. I'm walking. Eh, na better ya talk for fans. What's your stormzi? No, na I can't go for being said any more. I cry. I'm not going to say stormzi. Stormzi. But about Kumasiya. Eh, ya ya talk. So, eh, na ma stormzi ya ya popular. I say me na walk. I'm not going to say. In same bien. Eh, in that place. I'm not going to say. Ya talk. Who's a dodo? I say me na ya ankebi. But walk. I'm walking. I'm not for. I say I dey mean. I say one day I drink. So, no no ma. Eh, ya stormzi ya pop more popular in Ghana. And I'm not going to say one said that. Casa no casa in the one casa ye. Ah, we di awa rusem kakrebi a banana mama yen tin tin. Waya na wotri ya na ebe tu obja se ye Ghanian woman bi or ye BET director. Aye Lilian Blanks waka baby. Na se mi ba ina ye ye kujua inchi sa kodi ye edem no mi na wana sende aye wun condolence message. Ama aye Lilian ne busi afu. Aye kani se nyango pon MP baby pa non fani si. Na mama yen tin awa rusem mi aso. Mama mube kaya aye Castro under fire. Wa seven years ago, and a jar was walk out of a coje in the Kakaya Castro was a lady business now, and also can wear Janet's band. And I for fear and to ask her work or two, so the best thing, yes, she should be denying. Now I'm remedy after seven years, you know, you ain't still being Kaya who needs your choir. And Mana won't cause some medicals on the panel. Well, I tell me by and we say, I am a busumi, I and I will declare, say, Castro, they said you officially. Wewu, asemi anye busi ya fode. Hmm, aye video mesi ya woye ya wose woye i concert in memory of a. Wose unipone anye memory in Anna of Castro. Eno kwa wose wanti wamu aso ni pano mu yet. Mamu unsi anye me bi insu sumu sebi ya wewu na ye kaino. Ebusi ya funi se one day. Mu gana funa mu mura mu se mu be declare se wewu. Ano dia one day shene dia onu ye. Nama funi mu je di pan se debi debi Castro be sanso a baby manan kumu ne kusu se wa kabebi. Aye no kwa pan se Castro a kabebi ana. Ah, and the answer down to me, Chesa. But now, what you want to say, come on, cross on a jammer, Bruni. Me boy, I'm not meeting a best room. That's a ne, a best answer. She and Tabran Sipa, who no abeja for Munsum, no months fast on mine. Thanks, Amma Bruni, for the segment. And come on, for more of these stories, visit our website www.ganaweb.com. A reminder that the show is brought to you by Cheesy Pizza. Cheesy Pizza has all you want from juices, smoothies, jollof, fried rice, spag, and meatballs. And for pizza, buy one, get one free every Wednesday at all branches. Call Cheesy Pizza on 0544-133397. 0544-133397. Cheesy Pizza, your pizza, your way. You're still watching Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. We will take a break. When we return, there are two hot issues to be discussed. Castro's disappearance, well, now he's been declared dead because it's been seven years. And then Yao Tog has taken over Twitter because of a comment that he made. Now, he went to TV3 for an interview. He was asked a question. He gave an answer. 
and no no for be so much as he be see the work no he nailed it some say he needn't have said it at all others say that well what he said is the truth just that he didn't put it well which is which we'll talk about that when we return it's bloggers forum on ghana web tv and proudly sponsored by cheesy pizza Uh, before we came on, uh, I need to say this. My, my colleague Martin was saying that he never even knew Stormzy. Yeah. There's, there's a, that kind of perception here in Ghana that, oh, Stormzy made you even more popular than you were. But he said he didn't also know Stormzy until he had him on your track. Yeah. How do you think it worked? Do you think that you got Stormzy being recognized in the Ghanaian market, even though he's Ghanaian, mm. but of, you know, uh, it stays in the UK? Or you think that he made you more popular in this market? Oh yeah, so he made it more popular in this market, you feel me? And I made it more popular here too because people didn't know Stormzy mm -hmm. in Ghana here. So I think we brought the magic to ourselves mm -hmm. and magic to our brands. So you watched the Talks interview with Miss G on TV3. A simple question and then he gave the answer. Let me begin with Naneo. Hmm. Was it a gaff? And I said, This issue, eh? like, it'll be an issue. Because if you look at the, the conversation, it'll be anything. It just reminds me of Sack with Bula Ray on Star FM 103.5, and mm. then Bula hype your man, makes make Sack feel like, yeah, he's the biggest, and then he puts in the question, that controversial question, and says, So, be, so you and Ace Hood, who made the call? You get it? Mm. It's the same thing Miss G played a boy. Miss G is known to ask the maybe the unforeseen questions. So when you are when when you are hosted by Miss G, you have to be very careful. Because the interview can be going right and then she will just bring it to left. So we can we can be talking about how good you are <coughs> and how amazing you are and how you are shining and how you are the best, then then the question will come into when you want to the best. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm. Let's look at it openly, without making a decision now. See, Stormzy can say that I made Yao Talk popular in Ghana. More popular in Ghana because I gave him an international validation. People were not shouting. People were not making noise because Yao Talk is doing a remix. People made noise because Yao Talk had an international artist on the remix. Don't forget, that same remix had Chrissy Arthur. People were not making noise about it. It was a certain international Ghanaian-based UK artist who, who had come to Ghana that was leaving a crowd to Kumase for a remix that people were making noise. So for Stormzy, it's like I have blessed a certain junior brother of mine with more pop, more audience. Mm -hmm. Because my audience is as, is, even though it's not like physical or tangible people that you can count, it's also a valuable audience that I have that respects the brand. So Stormzy can also say that, okay, he, he goes to um, a, a, a UK show and they ask, he say, oh yeah, I blessed my junior brother with more popularity. I blessed him. I validated his acceptance into music or international music space. Mm -hmm. And therefore, because, because Ghanaians, some of us glorify foreign things, people be began to look at the boy like, well, we, we drew, because a certain UK big star has jumped on it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. So that's one part. The other part is the story song itself, the remix is not as big as the original. Let's not kid ourselves. The remix is big on the internet, on the YouTube. It's not big on the streets of Ghana. If you go to a club in Accra, ten, eight out of 10 will play the sorry, original, original song and not play the remix. The remix are on people's phones and enjoying it. People who love like maybe music or they will play it in the pub, like a normal song. But say a boss Sorinium is going to be the original. Even him as Yao Talk at the Ghana Music Awards, when he performed his verse on the remix, people didn't even know. So in that case also, the song, the original song, right, mm -hmm. is bigger than the remix, which means you didn't make anybody popular. You understand what I'm trying to say? Then there's a the third part where people knew the artist called Stormzy, they liked him. 
very few, very few people on the internet, again, Ghanaian, Ghanaians who are on the internet, especially Twitter, like a certain artist called Stormzy. So they worship or probably they liked him so much that they wanted, they, seeing him on your talk song made, made him more big. But the song, the original was so big that the remix needed, like, got people's attention. Therefore, also elevated a certain artist on the song called Stormzy, mm -hmm. right, to quote unquote new audience. Every collaboration gives somebody a new audience. It's simple as that. Every collab gives somebody a new audience. So if I jump on your song, I'm, I am on this show, I'm, I'm going to get a new audience. It's as simple as that. What, I'm, what I might say here might go viral. I might have can sit somewhere and say, I gave Nanaya his breakthrough. I, I almost used the F word. I, I gave Nanaya his breakthrough. And Nanaya will say, no, he did not give me my breakthrough. I did talk my talk every time. No. If you look at the show where you go say talk, where the, where the trending come from, they can say that if they're my plus from top, we bust you. And you can't get angry at it. So in these three contests, all of them is right. The tricky part is this. As a young talent coming up, people don't expect you to have a certain level of confidence. People are expecting you to have a certain level of shine, but not, to, not more than what they expect from you. So for a certain year, I'll talk to out of impulse, say that, yeah, I made him more popular. To some people, it's coming off as he's been arrogant because he's young. If Yao Tog was a soccer who has said that, nobody would have an issue. It would have been okay. It would have been fantastic. It would have been, oh, yeah, maybe soccer we talk. But this is Yao Tog. He's 18 years old. He has to learn. He has to say, oh, yeah, my big brother, he blessed me with the song and everything was fine. Right? So he, so he can't say that because he's young. He can't say that because he doesn't have another hit song after Sorry. So it's wrong for him to say that, oh, they want to crucify him for him, to, for, for him saying that my song made Stormzy more popular. My opinion, he didn't make Stormzy more popular. People were making noise because Stormzy was coming to Ghana to work with him. Which but, means but, I mean, you agree with the fact that before the remix, yeah. some people who did not know Stormzy got to know him. Yeah, so I'll, I'll make this case again. So I, I just wrote on Facebook that everybody, every artist is popular in a certain um, locality, mm. right? Yeah. Then they can be popular in, let's say, God, Dan, Gwe, blah, 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 more popular than maybe another artist. Mm. Not even God, Dan, Gwe, Adam, popular in Adam, Adam, than another spoken word artist, mm. right? Mm -hmm. But that spoken word artist might be popular than him in another place. So mm -hmm. more popular is, is not. It's not like definite, it's subjective, mm. like it's, it depends. Mm -hmm. If people, if Stormzy was not popular, why, why were people making noise that you were going to work with him? How did the noise come about? Did the noise come about because your tongue is doing a remix? No, because there was Chrissy Yata on the song. Mm -hmm. That's what people are not getting. Chrissy did a song talk, but the hype and the shine and the conversation all centered around Stormzy. Why? Because, like I'm saying, value wise, his name, presence, is enough to, to push that young, young chap, mm. right? Mm -hmm. My opinion is this. We shouldn't crucify the young chap. We shouldn't, we shouldn't push him to the world so much for him, for him to feel intimidated mm -hmm. in doing what he loves to do. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is not wrong. He's an artist, right? Whether he's young or he's old, he's an artist. He can say that I made Stormzy more popular in Ghana because, yeah, is the song big? Yeah, the song is big. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with what he said. I just feel that people are just trying to make it look like because he's a young boy. He shouldn't have said he that. He shouldn't have said that. Okay. And there's nothing wrong. Artists in America say that all the time. Like, yo, I'll give an example. Right? Ace Hood and um, the remix of Bugatti. He was on Breakfast Club and then the host told him that, oh, how many people have reached out to you for the remix? He was confident. It was a young Ace Hood. He said, all the big names you know, they are calling for the remix. Mm. All of them mentioned. They started mentioning names. When you mentioned, he said, yeah, he has called. Record said he has called. This said he has called. Nobody in America said, Ace is being arrogant. <laughs> because it's music. He's not a star. What do you want me to say? No, oh, no, maybe something <laughs> make me <laughs> the, the, You see, there have been some interesting comments. I'll read them for you after Nene's submission. I want to hear what Nene will say about this topic. Okay, so... Here's the thing, right? 
I don't know how other people are going to say this, but when uh, already video came out, uh, uh, Beyonce, Beyonce Shatter. Shatter Wale, mm. my mom, I remember I was in Adam, my mom asked me, who is Beyonce? Mm. And why are people making noise that Shatter Wale had done a song with her, with him? And I have to explain that, oh, Beyonce is this, 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 this. She's probably the biggest female artist in the world. I mean, in her country, mm. in the part of the world. Right? But in Ghana, the biggest artist in Ghana of all time will always be that Lumba. Beyonce is no bigger than that Lumba in Ghana. Right? So if Beyonce and that Lumba do a song, and that Lumba says he made Beyonce popular in Ghana. More popular. More he made Beyonce popular in Ghana. Okay, you don't want to use... I don't want okay. to be good. Yeah, you don't want to go more. If, 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 if that Lumba says he made Beyonce popular in Ghana, I'm going to say, oh, uh, that Luma doesn't have the right to say that. Or even if Shatawale has said he made Beyonce more popular in Ghana. Mm. We have said Shatawale is wrong for saying that because there is a certain demography of Ghanaians who didn't know who Beyonce was until the biggest name in Ghana at the time, Shatawale, did a song with her. Mm. You understand? Mm. And also, about the Sorry song. The Sorry song was a big song, not just in Ghana, but on the internet around the world. The song, you know, uh, the COVID happened around the time Ghana had just finished um, the year of return. Mm -hmm. And there was a big global buzz, especially among black people around the world. I don't like using the word black, around chocolate people around the world. Because of the you are mad. No, no, I don't usually, even when I use writer, I don't know if you've read some of the whites I've done for Ghana mm -hmm. web. I don't use the word yeah. black. Yeah. Um, um, chocolate people around the world were talking about Ghana. Mm -hmm. You understand? From the year of return when COVID happened. And then the Pam 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 guys. What was the name? Pam, 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 the, guys. Poor, the poor bearers also went viral. So there are a lot of talk about Ghana around. And then when the Americans wave came in Ghana, because of the global attention on Ghana at the time, which made Ghanaians even around the world talk about Ghana, including Virgil Abloh. He made the, uh, the, uh, the Americans vibe a global tune around the time. Mm -hmm. And there were some articles, I remember some uh, UK music blogs wrote articles about the American guys. Yeah. You understand? So it's not like uh, Stormzy was doing uh, yeah, talk a favor by doing a song with him. Stormzy is not a charity organization, or not, he doesn't do charity. You understand? Mm. There was a band on, uh, what was the name? Public Gardens in the UK. Even though there was a band on Public Gardens in Ghana at the time, it wasn't as big as it was in the UK in December 2020. So that's a lot of global uh, artists, including Wizkid, Benna Boy, Stormzy, were in Ghana. Mm. Because one, they could party in Ghana. And two, Ghana was the wave last year. And so I stand still the wave. So he didn't come to Ghana to do anybody a favor. He's a Ghanaian, he had to claim who he was, especially because Ghana was buzzing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so he came, and so he had the opportunity to work with the biggest, the, on the biggest song in Ghana at the time, which was Sorry, and he took the opportunity. And so he became more popular in Ghana around, among a certain demographic who didn't know who he was. Mm -hmm. And of course, in his submission, Yao Talk said he made me bigger in his market and I made him bigger in my market. And that was what? Uh, butter. You understand? It's not like they did anybody do anybody a favor. So when somebody says that, yeah, he had what he paid for. You understand? Yeah. When, I, when I say what he paid for, I don't mean he paid with money. Mm -hmm. He paid with his presence on the song, which is being more popular in Ghana. Yeah. And I had what I also paid for, which is being popular in his country. You understand? Mm. And Stormzy is more likely to come to, it's more, it's more um, likely that Stormzy will come to Ghana for a show, will be paid to October. go and perform in Ghana, October. than your talk will be paid to go and perform in the UK. He's coming mm. to Ghana in October. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The point is, Stormzy benefited in a way from, not in a way, Stormzy benefited from doing that song with your talk. Mm. So when the person who is a businessman, your talk, goes on TV and say, yes, if you do business with me, you get a benefit, he has every effing right to say that. Mm. Yeah, so I put, you put the word in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 okay, yeah. So, 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 let, let me read some reactions, but you see, there is one reaction that has actually um, elicited um, responses, and that's from Sam Forsen. Yeah. He says, Yao Talk's comment about making Stormzy popular in GH is the kind that unfortunately encourages selfish behavior in the industry. If you know what it takes to be a mainstream artist in the UK and play listed into other parts of Europe, you won't lose talk. Shaking my head. Focus I don't think it's a on loose talk. Our music. I don't think no, it's a loose talk. No, no, why did this If Tomzi has what it takes to be popular in the UK and other places in other countries, why didn't he stay there? I don't think it's a loose talk. Listen, I am an opinion. I, I, I am saying that Yao didn't make Stormzy big in Ghana. More mm -hmm. popular, whatever. He didn't. Mm -hmm. But his comment is not a loose talk. Okay. I'm saying that, listen, if you look at a thing with correct eyes, what the boy talk, people are just angry because or bad bang, or a young boy, mm -hmm. Wusa. Mm -hmm. So he, he, he's not supposed to develop that confidence to say that. He's saying, listen, all the international artists out there, if you want to do a remix to get people to know you, to love you, to work with you, to follow your music, do it with Yao. Yao is a media house. Mm -hmm. Yao talk, me a media house. Me, mm -hmm. hana gana tea, hana gana kasa. Mm -hmm. What are saying? How is this a loose talk? Yes, if you don't agree that he made, a, he made Stormzy popular, it is not a loose talk. Sammy Fossin makes another statement. He says, Stormzy is a main UK artist. He headlines major shows in UK and Europe. It doesn't he matter. makes big it money matter. off his streaming numbers in abroad. the UK. Stormzy matter. might be new to Yao Talk's generation, in, but as, not to Ghana music. Do your research. Let this bill has a comment. Uh, so Joy B says, I don't see what's wrong with Yao Talk's comment. Big Sam. Um, where is Joy? Uh, Let this bill. Let bill says, even Stormzy will see there is nothing, there is no malice in what Yao Talk said. He answered the question based on the preamble set. By the and interviewer, the and if there is anything I'm yeah. away from it, that's a young man who knows his worth. He equally made a few more people know who Stormzy is. Not a few more Fact. people, a lot more people. Listen, right. so I don't on, think that Yao made Stormzy more popular. But what the boy said is not wrong. He is not. He is not a loose talk. Mm -hmm. And because he's a child, Ghana for no, I was saying or son no. I was saying what? Me what? It's a very important thing. Mate. Um, NYDJ says some of you people be funny. I was with Stormzy and the entire team from the airport to Mencia to taking them to lunch and video shoot. Stop your baseless arguments. Stormzy and the entire team were even sad they had to leave the same day. Your talk didn't goof. And on that note, we take a break. When we return, we talk about Castro, who um, has legally been declared dead. It's Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. Hi, my name is Nanama McBrown. I'm proud to be part of Ghana Web Road Safety Campaign. Please do the right thing. Save a life. Brim. Welcome back. It's Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. The show is proudly sponsored by Cheesy Pizza. So we are on to our next discussion. About seven years ago, Castro was reported missing. Uh, this discussion, I'll start from Nenebi for, for, for two reasons. Mm -hmm. Nenebi Adan Honwati. Are you popular? Uh, so? Are you popular? Are you more popular than Stormzy? Are you more popular than, <laughs> than, <Storms> <laughs> more popular than Storms in Adan? Yeah. For sure. Yes, for sure. Yes. Yeah. And um, he has a background in law. He's a lawyer in the making. Seven years. So the law says... I have a law degree. You don't have to say I'm a lawyer in the making. Oh, I have a law degree. Papa, we cry. That's the kind. No, I see my hand. No, I see my hand. I'm not a lawyer, I'm a, but I have a law degree. Ah. You know, you say we could not Are you practicing law? You say we should say you are a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. I said I'm not a lawyer. Okay, since I have a law degree. I have a law degree. Okay. So, can I come on? Come on. This is Nenebi. He has a law degree. What if I don't I don't decide to become a lawyer? What if I decide to be a lawyer? So, let me let I'll begin with Nenebi. Kashu has legally been declared dead after 7 years. That's what the law says. But as I still the family um you know this thing about, about um, I don't know about the other ethnic groups, but I know for the accounts and all that, until we see the body, there's still this disbelief. I, 
no, the guy no die. Like he go somewhere, he will come. And we know that there there have been stories where people have sent their children home. Say, your this be your family house. Go there mm -hmm. after years. Recently, I think some thirty five years or so, mm -hmm. somebody who was said to have died or be mm -hmm. came back to the to just opposing what the law says and what the family is saying. In law, there is something called rebuttable presumptions. Rebuttable presumptions are things that you presume to be true mm -hmm. until they are proven to be lies. So, for example, if uh, in criminal law, if you have uh, you are you are arrested, you are presumed to be innocent until you are proven guilty, mm -hmm. and that's a rebuttable presumption. So the, uh, the presumption is you are innocent, and so the the uh, prosecution have to prove that you are guilty. You understand? So, um, there's seven years, um, what's the name? When a person disappears, right? I mean, when a human being disappears, right? Mm -hmm. He's presumed to be alive. Mm. And here's why. In the 18th and 19th century, when the current law we use were being drafted, human beings, the whole world was big. To human beings, whether well, if you have born earth, and people could travel from one part of the world to another part of the world mm. and go on and live there. And there was very little way they could contact their family, right? So when a person leaves their family, and um, what's the name? We don't hear from them. We don't <laughs> assume they are dead. We assume that they may be building life somewhere else. Now, mm. man, so the end, you know. Maybe I want to meet a new girl and, you know, maybe start a new family with them. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we are presumed to be allies. However, there was a new law that was passed, and I think, in, 18th, in, the, in the 19th century. Called, it was called a uh, bigamy, I think, bigamy law or something like that, where um, there was an exception that when your partner, right, leaves you, and you don't hear from them after seven years, you can go ahead and marry somebody else mm. without you being, uh, being uh, declared to have committed bigamy because your partner have, has been away for seven years and they didn't contact you. And so from that is where we have the new, uh, what was the name, common law presumption of death, where after seven years, when you hear from somebody after seven years, you presume they are dead. But there are four factors. They are, you don't know where they are. Mm -hmm. The people that they are supposed to have contacted, they normally will have contacted, they don't contact them. And the other two, they all, it's the simple thing. The simple mm -hmm. thing is, when you don't hear from somebody after seven years, and the people that they normally will have contacted, they don't contact those people. Mm -hmm. After seven years, you are presumed to be dead. However, in the new generation or in the new age, that presumption, courts have the leeway to even pro, uh, pro, uh, pronounce you dead before even seven years. But they don't do. They don't do that. But courts can because now, when you don't hear from somebody, they have other ways of contacting you. They have phones number, phone numbers. They have Facebook, WhatsApp. You know, so. That, if, but, I mean, admittedly, all yeah. these have not, have, have not been possible. Exactly. N none of the family has said that they've been able to contact, contact you by phone or yeah. something. So if you've not heard from somebody in seven years, and they've not, he has a wife, he has children. They've not contacted a wife and children. They've not contacted their closest friends. They've not contacted other family members. The law is that they are presumed to be dead. However, it's also a rebuttable presumption. Mm -hmm. If in future they come, mm -hmm. that presumption, a presumption will be rebutted. So now you can say that they are no more dead. Okay. So even though the law has pronounced them dead, the family can decide that they will not accept that he's dead mm -hmm. until he shows up. Mm -hmm. So maybe Castro is now in uh, Cuba with Tupac, you know, smoking or something. I saw, ah, was it an article <laughs> or a comment that I saw? Someone says Castro. Yeah, it's, I thought it was an article yeah, or something. Uh, that Castro is in Cuba yeah, with Tupac. Yeah, with Tupac. You know, they are sharing the blunt. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, for, for those who, just to you know, refresh your memories, in 2014, uh, it was on July 6th that we had Asamojan, Castro, Jeanette Bandu, 
and the host of others had gone to Ada. Um, they were enjoying a jet ski. They say Castro tried to save Jeanette Bandu when she fell in the water, uh, the river. So he also, you know, couldn't make it. We were told they were not wearing um, protective jackets. I think there was an interview that I listened about. Um, I've forgotten which channel it was, but Abrubanana was made some comment be about she getting she being closer to the body and something of a sort a whole lot of you know contradictions and all that and right after that one too, we've had some spiritualists you know trying to do their own thing there was one that in so Naniel has been very passionate about Castro's disappearance and for anytime we bring this Castro issue um, he seems not too happy about the way some of Castro's colleagues have not, you know, been vocal enough about um, someone who was known to be very um, kind. The fact that he can go abroad when he's retur uh, returning. Yeah, real quick, let me see this thing. I think the reason why it's hard for artists to be vocal is, I remember when Castro passed, when Castro first disappeared, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Obuo and was a musical president at the time, and we went to the vigil. Yeah, we went to, and then there was a lot of criticism. Yeah, that's Obuo because the family said the Nippon no Muya, so why do a vigil? Yes, but then his idea was the idea for the vigil was uh, different. His reason for organizing the vigil was different mm -hmm. from you know. So usually it's very complicated to talk about these things because you know in Ghana we operate with two different sets of principles. Mm -hmm. We have the common law principle, which is the white, uh, black and white law we, we learned in school that we use. Mm -hmm. And then we have our cultural principles. Mm -hmm. And according to what you said, I can't cultural principle, he's supposed to be alive. And according to the white man's law that we've studied, he is presumed dead. Mm -hmm. So when you're an artist and you are talking, it's very difficult to say the right thing. You don't have to talk about that. It's hard you to say have the right to... thing. No, it's not, about, it's, not, it's not about talking about the incident. It's about, for instance, we are all here, and I fell ill. You'll be shocked the number of so-called colleagues who will never pick a phone to show, like, to show love on socials. Until nobody be willing to say any contribution, and sana cause on code or we be It's about we understanding that what we do, we are all we have. What happened to what, what, what happened to Castro? Tomorrow can happen to another artist. You get it? Yeah. I'm saying that from the year one to the seventh year, family depends, especially those who are working close with him. I know Sebia, Kofi Kenata will not probably come and put it out. But Ebia, every year now, Cash will be a very run. I said once a while, he will probably will go and see family and check on them and everything. I'm saying for the bigger view of it, every artist is just nice. You understand? To put out something that encourages the wife. Courage is the father. Because you see what, what the father is doing? He is not mad at VGMA. Mm. He's not he's not angry at them. He's just grieving. Exactly. He's not saying what you did was wrong. What I'm saying is right. It is the fact that I don't have anything to use to bury my son. You're, you're telling me to go and bury me. Me saying anything. Catch me. Me saying anything. We have to understand that the people around Castro are now coming to terms with the whole Plenty law that law degree holder said. <laughs> you understand? Mm. Like, let's listen. I don't know if you've lost somebody around you before, but yeah. it is very difficult to come to terms yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. Even when the person has been put to, to the ground, who feel have been feeling? Wait, me feel home class half phone half any panel. You don't expect a family like that to just do it by themselves mm. when the person, the person in question has been a pillar be behind a lot of people in the music space. Mm. What am I yeah. saying? Again, it's It's messages, effort, goodwill. Some, some, oh, ha, throw back. Which me fuck Castro, be, be, what did I hear in the Now, what should be, be nice. It will show you one. Ah, go for your own money. It's beautiful. Oh, my son, what did you know? I said, I posted a video uh, singing uh, uh, MV. As a mother is in, is in a very complicated situation with Castro. Mm. He, he, I can pardon. Because what's a penalty till now? I'm going to 
Akabaja and say penalty now. Where? I go Obi and Wu or Edra. Eh, as a matter of penalty, so for him, I'm a bit blue again. So for someone, for the fact that there's a certain conversation that came out in the media that. Uh, yeah, as I'm wanting in call for an hour, I'm down and we invite you. No, I can't. Hey, I'm not quite one by him. Hey, as I'm one, no, all the cadet. You get what I'm trying to say, but one more, I'm a canoe. But there's that's something that's that we're all doing that I think we haven't taken notice of is the fact that he was not alone, he was a certain Janet Bandu. Oh, but I mentioned her, yeah, in, in, in because I said, we'll be a cash flow coming, cash flow coming, because you see. You remember, I said, when Adam posted a Lillian, yeah. people asked them, who is that? Yes. And I said, when we don't, we know Castro, for a lot of us, Castro is a part of, and I remember, I spoke to Castro only once, but at least, it, he's a tangible person to me. I've, you know Castro's voice, you know his ad -libs. If you're a Ghanaian, Castro is somebody that is conceivable in your mind. But Janet Bando, if you don't, uh, if you don't know her, if no, I mean, yeah, but Janet Bando's family, she's just somebody. Feeling, I understand for her family, yeah. You know, like it's always somewhere when a friend of Janet will probably be listening to radio, and he say cash to seven years now, so now you're bought. Bando, as as into another seven years, you know you're bought. There be any problem? You see, if cash is somebody, all of us uh, are mourning. You see, when you somebody dies, no matter how close you are to. Uh, if I say, I like SSS as own music. You yeah, understand? When he, he died, I was sad for one hour, but I was over it. But his yeah, mom his mom still yeah. mourns him. Thank you. you because you are not a family member. You, you fan. understand? And yes. the fan is not so far putting two hours. So, the emotions will not be the same. You understand? The emotions will not be the same. The emotions will not be the same. Okay, so let's, um, let's, let's put this one on hold. Uh, let's take a break. When we return, we'll talk about the Ghana Web Excellence Awards. Welcome back to Bloggers Forum. I am Abranti Pai. Nani Aredu is with OnePlayAfrica.com. Nene B is a columnist. We are discussing issues relating to the arts and entertainment. The show is sponsored by Cheesy Pizza. Next is Ghana Web Excellence Awards. Now, on July 1, we launched the Ghana Web Excellence Awards. You want to know what it is and how you will be a part of this scheme. We have the commercial manager for Advertiser and Publisher Solutions Ghana Limited, Mr. Echo Blankson, joining us with um, details of this scheme. Mr. Blankson, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Glad so, to be here. Yeah, we, we are happy to have you. Thank you. The Ghana Web Excellence Awards, um, how, how was this conceived? Well, thank you. Um, the Ghana Web Excellence Awards, as you already know, uh, once we have mentioned Ghana Web, that means that it's coming from Ghana Web, mm -hmm. all right? Now, Ghana Web is managed by Advertiser and Publisher Solutions Ghana. And uh, we have a promise to give certain solutions to our, our, our audience and our clients and even our, our viewers mm -hmm. because we have a Ghana Web team. Now, what we thought about is one of the innovations that we think that is important to come up. So it's actually to identify role models in Ghana and then also to look out for the future uh, leaders of, of Ghana. I, 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 awards have been done and everything, um, but I would say that this is the most credible that we are going to experience. Mm. You know, so we, we thought of having an audience, you know, uh, participation of, of, of an awards, and, and we thought that we got the greatest um, audience, the larger audience. So why not use our people to come up with uh, identifying these role models? Who do they think are their role models in Ghana? Who do they think can be their future leaders? What are some of the traits? And so that's the reason why we came up with this award. Mm, mm. I see. So, um, if I get it right, the nomination is being done by the people. Yes. Okay. Correct. It's an audience uh, participation thing. So, um, they are nominating the people. We do not have a panel that is sitting to say, 
that person, that person has done this and that. Mm. We want the people to nominate themselves. Mm. So they are going to uh, www.ghanaweb.com and of course they can get the forms, the Google forms there and fill it. Mm. Or they can also go to, they can send these uh, nominations to awards at ghanaweb.com. Okay. Yes. So after the nomination, what next? So after the nominations, in fact, it will interest you to know that uh, having um, launched this on the 1st of July, how many days has it been? Eight days Eight or days. seven days? Yes, we already have over 60 nominations coming through. You know, that gives you the power of our audience, actually. You know, um, and so we know that um, come August, when we will close nominations, we are very, very sure that we'll be overwhelmed with the number of nominations. And of course, they also give you reasons for the nominations. Mm. What we have done now, we actually have a, a faculty, um, a team that will look at all these things, and then we would decide um, and, and have a, a, a short list mm. of, the, of the nominations. And then we'll throw it back to the audience for them to vote. Okay. So um, essentially, it will be 100% public vote? Yes. There will be a 100% public vote. It's their business. They have nominated, and they will vote for it. That's it. Mm, so then, uh, how credible would that be, uh, especially when we know people can just buy votes and win their award? Well, um, again, it is not really... Uh, <laughs> it's not the way it is, really, with Ghana Web. Mm. You just notice what Ghana Web is. We are uncensored. Uh, we make sure that we give the people an opportunity to speak. Um, and therefore, if they're going to, obviously, we've got a faculty that's looking at all these things uh, and making sure that we are, we are very uh, credible in mm. what we're doing. We need to throw it back to them for them to really give their votes and understand and say that these are the ones that they have. Mm. Uh, well, well, they are their role model. So, essentially, all those who <coughs> be nominated mm. by the people who are shortlisted. Yes. It means that in the wisdom of the academy or the faculty, anyone deserves. So no matter how you you go around it and win, it's cool. Yeah, well, <laughs> obviously, mm. um, once you've been shortlisted, that means that you 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 stand the chance mm. all right now in standing the chance again i like to reiterate that the people are the ones who have nominated you mm. and therefore they will be the ones to say yes out of the ones that you've shortlisted this this person that person should get it mm. okay and so we give it to them so nominations um Nomination ends on in when? August. In August, yes. August. Um, that's end of August. Yes. August end of August. Yes. Okay, right. Uh, we're looking forward to hosting the main event. Which which month? Well, in December. So we're looking at the first week in December, mm. and that's that's the plan. Okay. Anything can change, uh, but that's 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 the plan for okay. us to do it in December. We want to do it before uh, the yield time, before people go on break and all of that. So. That's 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 the plan. Okay. Mm. Do we do we have the faculty or the academy? What's what's the right word for? <laughs> because I know we have we have academy, we have faculty. I don't know how. I will, we're calling it the faculty. The faculty. Yes. Do we have um, a people yet? Okay. So I would. Um, we've got some people in mind, okay. and in fact, it's going to be. It's going to comprise um, of. Um, our sponsors, mm -hmm. some of our sponsors, some of our partners, you know, um, in, in, in the in Ghana world. Okay. And then also some people that we really have great respect for. Okay. Um, we, we are not putting out the names out yet, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, but it will, it will soon be. You fear they will be compromised? I, we do not, we want to make it as transparent as possible okay. and as credible as possible. So anything that would uh, hinder that uh, progress. Mm. Uh, we, 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 want to, we want to remove that. Okay. So for now, allow us to, to keep that away from the public. Mm. Um, and then when it's, good, it's time, we'll bring it out. Right. So that's the commercial manager for AdQ, Advertiser and Publisher Solutions Ghana Limited, telling us about the Ghana Web Excellence Awards. Uh,
Oh ya dia. Oh ya dia. Um Daniel, Daniel has been a into events for a very long time. He has been following awards in the country. Three music awards, Ghana music awards. Which one? I put it there. The old man of fans are on bill. Yeah. Nana, let me, let, let me get your view on um, Mr. Blank's submission. Okay, so I think, sir, first off, um, it's a good initiative. We, we must say, um, when you are a media outfit and you want to establish your power and control by your audience, you need to test them if they are actually just um, afar or their engagement is real. That's how I see when a media house comes up with an award scheme. Mm. Because um, also to also build a new fan, a new audience, introduce the brand to new people, it refreshes the brand. Mm. So always when the media house is doing something like that, the end goal is not normally to maybe rack in some sponsorship money, but to, it will be in essence of value. The value being that you are getting more audiences, you are getting, you are introducing the brand to more people, so it's good. And also, people these people are working hard in the country. That's one thing. And yeah, award schemes need now a bit more cover will be And therefore, if an, if another scheme comes that is also celebrating the others that the most popular ones are not celebrating, it kind of equals it out. Mm. Plus, in our sector, we always have an issue with award schemes coming up because you people forget that our sector is a creative industry sector. We are always allowed to be creative. If you are in the engineering or you're in the oil field, there are award schemes might be cal probably calculated, maybe two or one. If you're in the te telecom world, they have, I think they have only one award scheme or something like that, right? Mm. So it's a good initiative. I, I welcome it. My only challenge is that I don't think that it can be credible. Mm. That's, that's my only thinking. <laughs> it can't be credible because, you see, if you build... Let me do this example, right? E has People's Choice Awards. People's Choice Award, the model is just like what you just announced. Like, the people nominate, the people vote. Mm. Even that one, people still question the winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, so, and it starts from the nominations. Some, some of them will say, oh, why is it that the people, this guy way we nominate them, you know, come inside at this thing. And it, once you say faculty, they go like, ah, but you told us we are the ones nominating, mm -hmm. we are the ones going to vote. So how come there's a certain middleman in there? So I think the um, energy should be channeled towards giving Ghanaians another scheme mm. um, as to what comes out of it, how, as how people misinterpret it, and whether it is credible or not. It shouldn't be the headache of Ghana. And that's one thing I like about a new award schemes coming up. Yeah, Ghana we have always been innovative and this award scheme itself is innovative. I'm looking at some of the uh, potential categories for the award. Mm. You know, the tech and innovation is something that is very important to me because I think that as a nation, we need to recognize people who are doing well in that space so that it will help more people to, you know, be innovating the tech space. And you know, if we, we as a nation are not innovating the tech space, we'll be left behind. Mm. That's what the award is heading towards. There's the leadership award, women empowerment, you know, like women. So, <laughs> so the point is, I think that um, I remember Kanye said something some time ago that um, the uh, kids don't aspire to win uh, the Nobel Peace Award because the Nobel Peace Award is not televised like the BET Awards. Mm. So even though people who are doing innovative things get Nobel Award, they are not televised like the you know BT Awards. So kids are to the rappers. So the Ghana Web you know Excellence Award being organized by a media uh, organization, and which probably means that it will get a lot of media mileage. It's going to showcase beyond just entertainment things which people are doing for kids to look at and be inspired by. You understand mm. and so that is what i want to commend ghana web for for being innovative and looking at categories that will inspire people beyond just you know mm. what i like to enjoy all right i wanted mr blankson's final word to be the categories but you've mentioned um some i want him to take us through the list of categories so that um the okay us will know which categories that we have right yeah so we've got 18 categories huh and uh, if you would permit me, I'll just uh, read them up for you. Um, so we've got the 
Ghana Web Humanitarian Award. I mean, I will not go into all the, 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 the yes. uh, criteria and everything, but if you if you get the form, the Google Forms that we have put out there, you find all these there. This is available on, the, available website. on the website as well. Yes. So um, also we've got the Ghana Web Women Empowerment Award, um, the Ghana Web Media Development Award. We've also got the Ghana Web Creative Arts Excellence Award. Uh, we've got the Ghana Web Peace and Diplomacy Award, Ghana Web Business Development Award, um, Ghana Web Youth Empowerment Award, Ghana Web Leadership Excellence Award, Ghana Web Tech and Innovation Award, the one that you like most, yeah. you know. Uh, Ghana Web Culture Promoter Award, you know, important. it's very, very, very important. I mean, today, look at our culture. How are we promoting it and everything? Who are the ones here? Who are the ones abroad? I mean, I'm going in today. <laughs> <laughs> We've got also the Ghana Web Influential Man Award and Ghana Web Influential Woman Award. Um, Ghana Web Advocates of Good Governance Award. That... <laughs> 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 so that award might have been very controversial. Yeah. But it's because good with, with whoever you nominate another person from another party will be like well, unless you are going to be, may not unless you are may, going, it may not be a police people who used, used to call opinion leaders. You know, at first someone like Mess or Tabo was considered yeah. to be a neutral opinion leader. These days this day, people look at it as political. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got that as well. So far as the person is not paying their wives. Uh, um, no, no, no. Now, 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 now you're bringing. Now he's bringing. So, yeah, so bringing wives for well. wives. I mean, you can you cannot miss it. Uh, okay. I mean, so then we've what got if the wife who is being paid is doing something well? He does something well. Can I continue, please? And we've got the Dis uh, Ghana Web Discovery Award. You know, um, who, who are these, especially this is for the very, very young guys who are doing something creative, who has created a robot, or what can they do? You know, it's something that will lead us into the future. Mm. Um, but the, guys are, they, the guy has started now. Um, and then we've got the Ghana Web Star Award. Um, we've got the Ghana Web Social Media Personality Award. And this is different from Ghana Web Most Influential Blogger Award. I mean, this is media, and so if, if we need to, we need to support our own yeah. as well. You want to win another one? Uh, oh, get get nominated for I it. Could get somebody, I uh, <laughs> hope somebody will nominate me for it. Then that. we we have the Ghana <laughs> Web Business Giant Award, and mm. this is an honorary award which we'll give to um, our guys who have really supported us in business. Okay. So yeah. Um, all right. So that's it for the Ghana Web Excellence Awards. Um, if you want more information, visit our website, and. Um, for most of our stories, you see a link beneath. That link, when you click, will take you to the um, forms, the Google, um, Google forms. Yes. yes, the Google forms, so that you nominate um, an individual or a, an organization. In fact, you can. The nomination is um, unlimited, so nominate with um, information or something to back your nomination yeah. so that the faculty will not have a reason to reject your nomination. You so that's how we end this episode of Bloggers Forum. The show has been sponsored by Cheesy Pizza. Cheesy Pizza has all you want from juice, smoothies, jollof, fried rice, pug, and meatballs for pizza, Buy one, get one free every Wednesday at all branches. Call Cheesy Pizza on 0544 133397. 0544 133397. Cheesy Pizza, your pizza, your way. I've been on the show with Nenebi. He's a columnist. Um, he has a law degree. Yes, <laughs> this time around I got it. He has a law degree. He's an author. Nani Aredu is with OnePlayAfrica.com. He's also into event organizing at his management. I you heard? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he organized baseball at 10 concerts. In fact, one of the biggest concerts who have been organized in the history of Ghana. Without an MC. With a ticket. Uh, <laughs> Without an MC. And the ticket went for? The ticket, I think, it was 15, 17. Then. Not uh, 30, what? 
million like somebody else is doing. Oh, no, 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 don't mind me. Ah, <laughs> it's oh. kiddy, kiddy. No, no, the 15,000 was for table. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay. But please, okay. 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 Because the meet well at 10, there was no MC. Yeah. It was the first show produced with remix of songs performed live on stage. Exactly. So we had double Eden performing songs of Miss Well that you've you've not heard before. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the guy who filmed the show, so now, I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't clean my film. Okay. Uh, Mr. Blanson is the uh, commercial manager here at uh, Advertiser and Publisher Solutions Ghana Limited. Thank you for watching Bloggers Forum. I am Benefo Boabin Abrantipa.